Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I'm in Taipei, Taiwan, and today Ying and I are off to go check out the Beito Hot Spring area, which is a thermal hot spring uh, sort of onsen area, and I'm really looking forward to taking a swim and bathing in the hot water and just exploring the area. We're heading to the metro station now, and that's the plan for the day. We're gonna take the red line uh, up all the way to Beito Station, and we're gonna then connect with the pink line and go here. This station, we are right in the heart of Taipei, and right now it is 9, 10 a.m. So let's see how long uh, this takes us to get there. We just got off the train at Beito Station. Now we need to transfer to the pink line and go to Shin Beito. Okay, that was straightforward and easy. We are on the train now, heading towards Shin Beito. The connection from Beito to Shin Beito just took like a minute. And let me check how long that took us. It's 9.40 now. So that took exactly 30 minutes to get here from the center of Taipei. Right at the metro station, they have this handy map uh, showing all of the Shin Beito station tourist spots and a map. So it is really easy to follow and shows all of the hot spots to visit. We are about to exit the Shin Beito station and then we are gonna take a walk uh, to Beito Park and try to visit maybe the public library, the hot spring museum, and definitely go to the outdoor public hot spring and then to the thermal valley which is over there. The first place that we've come to is the Beito Public Library which is famous to visit because of its architectural design and its eco-friendly yeah, architecture. Yeah. Library was cool to see, now we are going to the museum. You take off your shoes at the entrance and then they provide you with slippers. Beito Hot Spring Museum slippers. So now we're gonna walk around for a little bit. This museum was actually the original bathhouse, public bathhouse in Beito. And it, from the outside, it actually looks kind of like a British or European cottage. Uh, and that's because the architecture and design was made to really uh, mix both Japanese and Western architecture. Yeah. There's no water in it now, but this was the main public bath. And this bathhouse really does have a, really a blend of it looks very European, uh, but at the same time, the upstairs was very elegant Japanese style, so really blending Japanese and Western architecture and style. We have arrived at the Plum Garden, and I actually thought it was just going to be a garden, but it's actually a house, and it says it was the summer getaway home for the famed Chinese calligrapher Yu Yu Ren, built in the 1930s. Oh, and you can see all of his calligraphy around the home. And the time has come to now go to the public bathhouse, which is right behind me, uh, which is called the Millennium Hot Spring. Yeah, Millennium Hot Springs. This is just the, the public bathhouse where you can, it's pretty cheap to enter, and we'll see what's inside. Just got our tickets for 40 Taiwan dollars, which will give us entrance to the public bath. They don't allow any photography here, of course, to, so people can keep their privacy. But I am about to go change and then take a dip in the hot springs and experience it. And I will let you know how it goes. Just got done soaking in the hot bath and that was a very local experience. There are a number of different levels of pools, which all have a different heat, and the top one was outrageously hot. Uh, and it's a hot day, so I couldn't stay in for too long, but it was very relaxing and felt very healing. We are now gonna keep on walking up the hill and hopefully soon get to the thermal pool. All right, we are getting to the thermal valley. Oh, and you can just see that steam. 
rising from the surface of the water. Oh, oh yeah, my arm is just immediately perspiring. Okay, so as I was walking around the hot springs, the Beto area, met up with Joe and Raymond, Raymond who are from California, but they are chilling in Taiwan and yes. <laughs> cool to meet both of them. I'm at the top of the pool now and you can just feel that steam coming off of this pool. It's just ridiculously hot and I'm just pouring with sweat. And it has, it's actually the smell of it is not too strong, uh, but just has a little bit of a sulfuric smell, but not too strong at all. Imagine, okay, okay, I can smell that. I got a whiff of that steam, uh, but imagine being standing above a pot of boiling water and that is exact, exactly what it feels like and what it looks like actually right here. So along with Raymond and Joe, we are gonna go uh, to a different hot spring pool I think and then we're gonna go to eat lunch. Okay, so we are gonna jump in their van We drove for about probably 45 minutes through the mountains. It was a beautiful drive and we have arrived at a place that uh, is supposed to be the source of the spring, the hot water spring. And they have, and this is a public bath, but it is really quiet today. We have the whole place to ourselves right now. And this is all the, also the place where we are going to eat for lunch. Oh, this is proper old school. So we're, we're sitting down for lunch now and we have ordered a bunch of different dishes, including some pork and deer. Okay, the first dish has arrived, and I believe that is boiled, braised or boiled chicken? Kanbe. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Maybe And then the next dish has arrived, and this is some kind of boar or pork, which looks like it's just kind of, um, Boiled or oh, something else is coming. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, oh, that smells amazing. Oh, that's deer. Yeah. A sizzling hot pan of deer. Yeah. Oh, just black pepper and black pepper. Yeah. Oh, and there is looks like cucumbers and some peppers. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, and I'm the I'm I'm glad the fan is blowing in my direction because I can, I just got a whiff of that. So we ordered fried rice as well, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of the white rice into my bowl for now because I gotta taste that deer. Uh, another bowl of it. Thank you. And while it's hot and fresh, put that oh, 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 it looks so good. Mmm. Oh, that deer is, I can really taste the black pepper. It has a little bit of a sour flavor to it. Like maybe a vinegary flavor, which is really good. Um, and yeah, what really stands out is the black pepper for sure. Slices of pork belly. And then yeah, with the thin strips of ginger. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. That pork is extremely tender, just sort of falls apart. And then you can really taste that ginger flavor. And then also uh, a plate of, which is, it's a bird which is similar to quail, a type of quail. And so it looks like that is deep fried. Looks like this is the drumstick, which I am gonna dip into that salt. Yeah, little pepper bit. salt, a little bit to season it. All right. That salt on there, perfect. And now going in for a bite. Well, that is hot and fresh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's marvelous. Oh, it's so juicy on the inside. But it tastes very similar to dark meat chicken, but more a little, um, with a little more texture, a little more muscular. That is delicious though. Lunch was insanely delicious. 
That is for sure one of the best meals Ying and I have had so far in Taiwan. Just home cooked, farmer's style uh, food. Just everything was good. But I think my favorite was the quail, which it was so moist and so juicy. Just the flavor was unbelievable. Now the only logical thing to do is to soak in the hot springs. Oh man, that's cold. Yeah, okay, this is the cold pool, It's and it's really cold. I gotta start with the hot pool. Do you like that with you, Ben? I started with this one, and I thought it was so hot. Yeah, it's hot. It is hot. Oh. Yeah, you can just feel that. Oh. Yeah, that see? step. <laughs> oh, that step. Oh. Oh, you can feel it just like, it's like burning around your skin. Your... Like... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say something on oh, oh, Come. This water is very hot, but it is extremely soothing and very relaxing, especially after that lunch. Oh, I just feel like I'm feeling amazing, but I'm about to go into the cold pool, I think. Relaxing in that hot water and then going to the cold pool was fantastic. I am feeling extremely relaxed now and well, especially after that lunch and then the hot spring, I feel fantastic. From the hot spring, we were actually very close to a little town called Jingshan, uh, which is across the mountain from Taipei. Uh, but we just drove here, which just took a couple minutes, and we are now on the old street, which is a uh, market street, and have a lot of food, snacks, restaurants, and looks like some souvenir shops, as well as clothes stores as well. So we're just gonna walk around and explore for a little bit. Quick snack of boiled peanuts. This is one of my peanuts are one of my favorite snacks and boiled is a great way to eat them. Okay, these are big meaty peanuts though. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, lightly salted, uh, starchy, and almost creamy, but it's almost like a it's almost like a smooth mashed potato in your mouth. Okay, we just bought some almonds which are still in their shell and they are some of the freshest and like sweet at tasting almonds that I've ever had. Really good. And you just peel back the shell. It's kind of like a like a woody shell and then that's the almond. <laughs> that's like one of the best almonds I've ever had. It's naturally sweet a little bit. It's a little bit salty and really crisp and fresh. Okay, I didn't realize this at first, but one of the reason these almonds are so good is because they, maybe they roast them with tea. You see all that, all this stuff is tea. Um, and I guess they are somehow roasted or, or sitting in tea, which gives them that kind of fragrance, maybe that sweet tea fragrance. I saw these test tubes and I could not resist ordering a coffee. So the water is up here at the top and it is dripping down one drip at a time into the coffee beans, uh, coffee grinds below here. And then it drips down, circles through, goes around in circles and then drips down into that pot below, which is the black coffee. So I just ordered a black drip coffee iced. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's good, very good. Uh, nice and strong, just a little bit bitter, and has like a, a very dark chocolate taste to it. They just dropped us off at the metro station. Uh, Ying and I are gonna catch the metro back to our hotel from here, but that was an excellent day. Uh, Ying and I started off with a few plans just to go to the Beto Hot Springs, and as we were there, we bumped into Joe and Raymond and his father. 
uh, and it was great to meet them and then they invited us to go with them to the little resort with the hot spring in the mountain and also to eat lunch. So that was completely unexpected, completely random and unplanned. Ying and I both agree that that was one of the best meals we've had so far in Taiwan. Delicious home style cooked food and uh, just a relaxing environment. So that experience would have never happened had we not bumped into Joe and Raymond. So big thank you to them and that was a great day. I'm gonna end the vlog here and we are just gonna go back to the hotel now. So I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you on the next video.